Hi, this is Chris at La Hay River Berry Farm. And I figured I'd do uh, another little quick video on variety selection and what you don't want to see at uh, certain times of year. And knowing if you have a plant that is just not going to work in your area. So this is our uh, nursery area and we had planted um, a lot of small plugs in this area to put in our future orchards. So what we have here is a Polish variety called Wojtek. And you can see this is our new growth here. And this plant is looking great. This is, I uh, forgot to say, it's uh, November 30th and today it's 10 degrees centigrade outside. So you can see from this jumble of plants when they really should have been put in orchard sooner than what they have been, but uh, just had some challenges in that area. But anyway, these plants you can see are clearly very dormant, not awake at all. This is a variety we had selected or we had been advised that this would be a variety that would work well in our area. And this is a uh, Blue Perfection is the name of this variety. As you can see on this variety, we've got a lot of end bud break. And this is November. And these guys are starting to wake up. The other concerning thing is when we see no development, as you can see here, the buds are coming out on the nodes. This clearly tells me that this variety, and we have a few of these out in an orchard, and they've just not grown very well, and they haven't produced. So this tells me right away that these plants, <clears throat> excuse me, are definitely not suited for our farm. So the only, or in our area, period. So it's definitely not a variety that's going to be useful for us in the future. So our only solution, our recourse for this, is to actually just remove the plants and get rid of them. Even though I can't uh, even sell these off because it wouldn't be useful for any home gardener to even use these in their garden. They wouldn't get much of a crop. And it's kind of disappointing um, to see this happening, but it is what it is, I guess, and it's what we've been learning as we progress with learning more about Haskaps. But uh, that's definitely what you should be looking for. If you see if you have plants that are actively waking up like these ones are, you definitely need to reconsider if these varieties are going to work for you or not in your plantings, orchards, uh, even around your home. I get a lot of people asking me or telling me, oh, we didn't get any berries this year. And the first question you ask is, okay, what varieties do you have? Did you net for birds? Did you get good pollination? Did you get flowering uh, or dormancy break in the fall or the winter? And all of these things can lead up to not getting a crop in the following year or poor plant growth. But yeah, it's just something that, you know, these plants, some of these, especially some of these varieties are definitely designed for a much cooler growing zone than what we're located in. Even though it does say that this plant is good for our zone, it definitely is not good for our zone. And the advice we were given was definitely very poor advice, which was unfortunate and has also cost us a lot of money. But, you know, live and learn, I guess. It's just the way things are sometimes. Thanks for watching.